So not the storybook ending Daniel Cormier hoped for, but what a tremendous career. Over the past five years, he headlined nine pay-per-view main events, the most of any fighter in that span, and he made those appearances exciting. Still one of just four fighters in UFC history to hold the belt at multiple weight classes. All right, Ariel Hawani, what is the legacy of Daniel Cormier as he calls it quits? Well, like you said, John, obviously an unfortunate ending for him, but I honestly thought his legacy was secure going into this fight. He's one of the all-time greats. He's top three, top five, uh, regardless of weight class, in my opinion, in the history of the sport. What he was fighting for tonight was to be in the conversation with the likes of Rocky Marciano, Lennox Lewis, Ray Lewis, Bill Russell, Pete Sampras, Ray Bork, guys who went out on top, right? John Elway, Peyton Manning, that's what he was fighting for tonight. But as far as MMA is concerned, yeah, this would have been incredible to go out as heavyweight champion. It's unprecedented stuff, but in my opinion, this doesn't change what he's done for the past 11 years. He's one of the greatest fighters in the history of the sport, and in my opinion, anyone who says otherwise or anyone who changes their mind as a result of tonight is an absolute fool. He is one of the best. And a tremendous broadcaster as well covering the sport. Uh, John Jones, Ariel, he took to Twitter, and it sounds like a bit of a cryptic message. Here it is right there on the TV. For some reason, these heavyweights don't seem so big to me tonight. Is that a message that he will enter the heavyweight division? vision. Well, this is uh, John Jones's M.O. Um, he's been doing this for the past couple of years. He likes to tease us about a move to heavyweight, but when push comes to shove, they can't get a deal done. Now, you could say it's John Jones's fault. You could say it's the UFC's fault. If you ask me, the next heavyweight title fight should be Stipe Miocic versus Francis Ngannou. Ngannou has done enough to deserve this crack at the title once again. They fought two and a half years ago, but he's done so much over the past two and a half years. He deserves that shot. John should not leapfrog over Francis. I know everyone's very excited about this. It's a sexy matchup, but it would not be fair to the Predator. What I think should happen for John Jones, go fight Dominic Reyes. Go, you know, make that one right. It was a very close fight. I thought Dominic won the fight back in February. You beat Dominic Reyes. Now you can move up to heavyweight and fight the winner of Stipe versus Francis. But I would not feel comfortable with the idea of Francis getting leapfrogged by John Jones just because all of a sudden John wants to go up. I feel like the time to do that was a few months ago. It did not happen. So for me, I'd like to say uh, stick around at 205 and see if you can figure that one out with Dominic. And then afterwards, if all goes well, let's talk about heavyweight. That's the great closer Jeff Reardon on his wall. He's our MMA closer, <laughs> Ariel Helwani. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.